E ai ki te rōpū hāpai tai ohi o Just Speak, kei Aotearoa tētahi o ngā tatauranga mauhere Rahirawātu i te ao hau nei. O roto mai te te kaumano tāngata ko Tahirau e 88 ka mauhere tia. E ai ki to rātau rīpuata ka tahi anua ka puta mai me puaki ngā whare herehere, a kei te hehea hoki rātau ki a hurihea te puna hature taihara, ki aro ke atu ki te hāpai me te whakaora, kauaka ki ngā whiu kino. I hāre atu a Kāmen Parahi, ki roto i te whare herehere wahine ārohe o tāmaki mā kaurau nei, te whare herehere tuatahi ki te whakatutuki i tā rātau punaha hau, e ata hoki ai ngā mauhere ki te ao hurihuri. Ended up committing a crime that broke me away from my children. I wish it never happened, but it did, and I've come here for three years, three months, to GBH kidnapping and threatening to kill. She's a poster girl for prisoner reform. Just 17 months into her sentence, this mum of four was told she could pack up and say goodbye to her life inside the wire. It's a very emotional time for this inmate. Just thinking about my family and my children, plus I'm getting home today. <laughs> yeah, and I get to see my baby again. You've taken responsibility. Yep. So I had a lot of people, not just my victim, my family, my children, my partner. You talked about a shame. What did you mean by that? My crime, what I've done. It's shameful in our culture and where I'm from. Motivated by shame, she completed an intensive rehabilitation program and got a variety of qualifications before she left prison. More importantly, she developed her confidence. One thing I had a problem with was um, sharing my emotions and my feelings and opening up to people. Yeah, I didn't like to do it because I thought I could handle everything on my own. If anybody's going to reduce reoffending, it's the mothers, it's the wahine. Prison manager Cheryl McKaidi has been an officer for 25 years and oversees up to 500 female inmates from high to low security. She sees jail as an opportunity for change, not a place of punishment. When I first joined, we were going through a change. We were going away from locking them up and throwing away the key and we have totally moved away from that uh, process. It didn't work then, and it's not working now. Cheryl believes in rehabilitation, but has to, because the government's demanding a 25% reduction in reoffending by 2017. No easy task, one in four prisoners return to jail. Some might say it's an ambitious goal, but it's something that I'm certainly passionately driven to achieve on this site. 8,520 men and women are currently being held in New Zealand's 17 prisons, 50% are Māori. For Māori women, the percentage is higher, estimated at 65% of all female inmates. Many have criticised the high rates of Māori imprisonment, including the United Nations, who raised concerns about bias against Māori throughout the justice system. Is there a bias in the system? Obviously I see it through the court system when our ladies are sentenced and come to us or when they're placed on remand and come to us. There is the higher representation of, of Māori throughout our organisation. So, you know, with the bias, uh, perhaps that is their processes and systems that they have in place. Cheryl says there is no bias in her prison. All inmates are treated equally. You know, whether they're Māori or non-Māori, Individuals have choices as to whether they want to commit crimes, whether they want to, um, you know, make victims of crime. So I was addicted to drugs, I was addicted to money. It was hard to stop. And then I found myself landed in here. Very remorseful, very regretful. Wish I didn't do what I did. But now I've come past that, I've accepted my crimes, and I'm moving on from there. For the past 18 months, prisoners here have been involved in a pilot programme, transforming the prison and themselves. I did a sentencing um, plan, and um, on it it's got AOD programmes that I need to complete, called Whiritanga and Life Skills. And I'm also being employed by Corrections doing the internal grounds. So that's been, been keeping me motivated. 
In December 2012, 44% of women here were employed or involved in educational training. Now, 100% of inmates are actively engaged. All of New Zealand's prisons will eventually become working prisons like this one. Some ladies come over, oh, oh, they just don't want to do anything. You know, they're not motivated enough. There is going to be that, that minority you know, that uh, we need to work with extra harder, extra longer to make that positive change that we're after. Cheryl admits officers and some inmates are constantly encouraging women into activities, selling it as an opportunity to turn their lives around. There's also another motivation to change. This convicted drug dealer who confessed to misbehaving early in her sentence is up for parole in October. But with us, with longer like years to go, yeah, we have to do as much programs and look good in front of corrections, and then hopefully when we go up to parole, we're confident enough to um, move on. It doesn't mean that they'll automatically um, be given a new release, but that certainly is, you know, um, a fact that goes in their favour. Cheryl concedes although they have a 100% work and activities uptake by inmates, she can't guarantee her ladies won't re-offend. Research shows that unless the individual is ready to make change, they can have all the interventions, all the tools, all the programs laid at their feet, but it's up to them to make that change themselves. So I end up coming to prison, in and out, in and out because of my alcoholism. Every time this repeat offender was sentenced, she received help for her addiction, but none of the interventions worked. Convicted for killing a man, she'll be in here for a long time and is only now prepared to change. Because I have decided that I want to do AOD, I have decided that I want to do the DTU. It's not because she said or they said or he said. If you've got an alcohol problem, we can see it on here. You need to do that. No, it's not. It's because I want, I've chased them. Are you sorry for what you've done now? Always. Every day. Every day. But receiving help inside doesn't guarantee success outside for these women. It's a bit scary, but I'm all keen. I'm just um, building myself up, making plans, setting goals. So I know when I leave this prison, I'm not going to go off back into my same behaviours. Obviously, I'm so proud of those ladies. You know, it's about creating more opportunity for them. And we can't do that on our own. Inside the wire, we cannot do that on our own. We have to have that support from those in the community because one day, our ladies are going to be a, a neighbour to a community member, whoever it may be.